everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out a new dock from Sabrent. This is a USB 3 dock with a ton of ports on the back. Uh, this is relatively new. I don't have a price yet at the time that I'm recording the review, but I will uh, post that when they post it uh, so you get a feel for what it costs. And we've seen similar devices like this that are USB 3 docks, but they have not had uh, the two display adapters on here. And this is using DisplayLink technology. We have covered this in the past, and I'm going to link to uh, two different videos that I did on this in the uh, in a couple months ago with the HP Stream 7, which lacked a lot of ports, and we were able to replicate those ports with a product from Pluggable that uh, worked with the same technology. So you can get a feel for how fast this is. It's not the fastest video output you'll get, especially as compared to what might natively be on your device, but uh, it's good enough for most tasks, and this could be a very convenient way uh, to gain some additional ports on your device. Both of these can be used at the same time and can output uh, unique displays, and we're going to test that uh, in a minute so you can see how it all works and performs. Uh, so you plug your computer in right there with the USB 3.0 port. They give you the cable, of course, in the box for that. Uh, it is backwards compatible with USB 2.0, so if you have an older computer, it will also work with that. It'll just be a little bit slower. Uh, you have two USB 3.0 ports here two USB 2.0 ports, so you get uh, you go from one to four, essentially. Uh, you also have two charging ports, and these will charge a device at two amps, so that's like a tablet or a phone if you want to plug in. You can get uh, some pretty decent charging out of there, but these two ports do not transfer data. It is charging only. You have gigabit Ethernet here for getting on a wired network. We're going to test the performance of that later in the video, and of course, you have audio outputs here, too. The audio quality isn't fantastic. It's not bad. It's about the same as what you might get out of a cheap tablet like this, not as good perhaps as like you know the latest uh, digital, the analog converters you see on some of these high-end audio cards, but uh, it's probably good enough uh, for listening to audio and very convenient because you can plug a single cable in and kind of light up all these ports and be off and running on it. On the front, there is a little bit of a cradle here that you can store your tablet in when you're uh, at your desk, so you can kind of put it in here. But if your tablet only has a single USB uh, spot for charging, uh, this is probably not going to work for you because uh, this uh, USB 3 dock does not charge through its input here, so you only get the charging out of these two ports here. So if you don't have uh, more than one port, uh, you're not going to be able to charge your device and use the data at the same time. So it'll work on a tablet that lacks those ports, but you won't be able to charge it. Uh, there's a device from Pluggable that I reviewed a little while ago that works with the HP Stream 7 that uh, I would recommend using in that case. But in this instance, we've got a Nextbook here which has its own uh, charging port, so we're going to be using this uh, with the dock and see how it performs. Now what we're going to do is put all this stuff back together again, and we're going to test out those two video inputs via USB 2.0 to see how well it performs on older devices. All right, we've got our dock connected to a low-end PC right now. This is a Nextbook, which is about uh, $200 at Walmart. This kind of represents what you'd see on the low end of the spectrum. It's got an Atom Bay Trail processor, a very low-end processor, two gigabytes of RAM, and only USB 2.0. So we're going to be pushing this uh, pretty hard because what we're doing at the moment here is actually running two displays simultaneously, including one that is playing back video right now. So I'm just going to maybe make the video go full screen here uh, while we are also maybe browsing the web on the other screen so you can see we've got him full screen there it's looking pretty good and if I go back to my other screen here if I can find my mouse pointer again it's a little hard when I've got these tiny little displays on here I mean, I'll go back to the New York Times homepage and see how uh, this loads up and this is definitely going to, going to be taxing this computer to its breaking point I think uh, for a couple of reasons one is that we only have a USB 2.0 connection for all this data for the video we've got essentially two 1080p displays going on here in addition to uh, the, the notebook itself so the dock is doing a lot of the work here as far as getting uh, the uh, processed uh, images out from the computer over the USB port into the dock which then uh, spits it out over the displays here so you can see how that goes but right now uh, the display link application is using about 40 percent of the CPU uh, which isn't too bad actually considering all that it's doing and this is a low-end CPU so you can imagine if you're on a faster computer uh, you might see better performance with this now if you go and click on uh, the link above I tested this technology on a 7-inch tablet is even less powerful than this one, and we were able to get uh, Half-Life 2 to actually work at a decent frame rate, too. So it is, it's is—it's pretty powerful, depending on what you have for a processor under the hood. Uh, you're not going to be playing a lot of games on this, but uh, for this kind of stuff, as far as web browsing is concerned and, and some video playback, uh, this is kind of the worst you're going to see as far as uh, processor load and USB load, and it is pretty functional, especially considering we're using a pretty slow PC. 
All right, now we're gonna hook up some USB 3.0 devices to do a test of its USB 3 ports, as well as the ethernet, which we're gonna run first. And I, I run a, a little test called iPerf, which measures the speed uh, in which large files are transferred over a network. And by that test, I was getting about 533 megabits per second uh, from my MacBook running with a Thunderbolt ethernet device over to the Dell here. This is a little bit slower actually than I've seen on some other uh, similar USB 3 and Thunderbolt ethernet devices. So this is probably about two or 300 megabits per second uh, less than I saw with those devices. So a little bit slower ethernet controller in here. I'm gonna keep trying this out on a few different devices over the next couple of weeks, but I have a feeling that's about the best speed we're gonna see out of it. But its USB 3 disk speed is not disappointing. We've got uh, pretty much a maxed out uh, SSD here, at least the uh, adapter that I've got uh, hooked up to it. So we're seeing speeds of about 404 megabytes per second on the reads and about uh, 360 or so on the writes, up to 400 as you can see here right now. That's about the max that this uh, particular combination of controller and drive can do uh, over a USB 3 connection essentially here. So uh, pretty good speeds, about 3.2 gigabits per second. And again, pretty much on par with what I would expect out of the hardware that I have plugged into it. So I have to say it overall, it's a pretty nice dock, especially because you do have uh, those two discrete video outputs on it that you saw actually work very well on a, on a low-end PC especially. So I think you'll have good luck with this. As, you know, if you have like a faster computer like an i5 or an i7 or something, you'll do really well with this. Not a gaming display port here. I want to make that clear. You can certainly play a few games on it, but uh, your AAA titles are not going to work very well on this because it doesn't have the GPU uh, that uh, many gaming machines have. On the lower end side of the spectrum, you could probably play some games and whatnot, but you may get some latency. You may not have all that great of a gaming experience. These display ports are really designed for uh, doing web browsing and email and work and other things that uh, don't rely on a connection being as uh, stable as a game might require. But other than that, I think it's a pretty nice dock, especially on a USB 3 dock to be able to have uh, all of this stuff, uh, especially those display adapters in a, a single unit that isn't too large on a desk either. So that is the Sabrent uh, USB docking station, and this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.